Hi guys, welcome back. Um, last time we left off, I was opening that huge 22 pound, um, $44 bag. Um, there were a lot of tangles in it, and to be honest, I saw that I wasn't finding very much within those tangles with a couple of exceptions, so I decided to show them to you separately um and not to open the bag with you and then i've got a nice surprise and something that we are going to open together so um one of the things i found was this faux tiffany necklace it is marked 925 and it isn't um and it is not tiffany there are a lot of tiffany um pieces of jewelry that are stamped 925 they're stamped tiffany but they're not and you can tell that because they're magnetic um i did find a couple of very sweet little necklaces this one is from thailand it is marked 75 dollars. it's silver this is um i guess a blue topaz um and that's super pretty I think it's a blue topaz. Hold on a minute. Let's see if it says here. It doesn't. It just says sterling and blitz. I don't know what that means, but so that's pretty. And I got some plain silver, sterling silver chains, which is always great because we we have pendants um, all around um, from these boxes and. I could use the chains. This is also sterling with this beautiful crystal heart at the end. Nice. And I love this one. I don't think I showed this to you guys, but this was from that bag too. And this is marked Italy and 925. And it's got all different stars and stones around the necklace. And it's got a little weight to it actually. So a few nice things. Oh wait, a couple more from this bag. Um, also very pretty. I like these little necklaces and they're great um, to wear in layers. You know, you can wear a couple of these, pile them on um, and have them graduated on your neck. So that's pretty. That's a little star with some stones. I don't know what stones they are if they're semi-precious stones could be if it's set in silver and then i got a few costume pieces so this is you know a brighton look-alike um imitation brighton with some charms um another beautiful cross necklace and i did get some comments about selling uh, religious pieces and i am encouraged that maybe I could um, sell some of these. They're beautiful. I still may give the the rosaries, which um, are blessed, I believe, from Italy to my aunt. But that's really pretty, isn't it? So, got that. Here's a silver and pearl necklace. And it's multi-strand, which is great. And I thought this was really neat. This is marked Ben-Hur, $1. And it's these little um, pins. They actually look beautiful. Emerald cut. So they're called clutch pins. And this has to be so old. I have to do some research on this and what Ben-Hur is. But um, I think Ben-Hur was also a movie, but it, apparently it was a jewelry brand too. But those are really cute. Um, a really nice silver necklace with some um, turquoise stones. I think these are just beads. Many times this is dyed halite. And I don't know if they are. Let's call them beads because I'm honestly not sure. But that's really nice. Not wearing the best blouse to look at necklaces with, but that's that. And then this is also really pretty. Another that looks very Stella and Dot-ish with some pendants and jet beads. So that's what I got. Oh, and then the big kahuna. 
um, a 10 karat gold earring with what I believe are diamonds. So we need a diamond checker, guys, but those may be real if it's set in gold. I wish I found the second one to that, but I did not. All right, so that's that. Now I have a big surprise. You know I always talk about jewelry jars? Well, I never had, well, I think I had one at the very beginning, but I, I never taped it. This is a jewelry jar, okay? And I bought it even though it was really expensive because I wanted to open this with you guys um, because this is how they used to come, the bulk jewelry. And this was, this was too expensive, by the way, because it's really not that big. I mean, the weight is in the jar. Um, and it should be called a vase, even though it's called a jar. Regardless, this is from um, Southern LA County, Long Beach, California. It was $50, and with shipping and everything, it was $66. So let's hope that there's something amazing in here. Whoops, just flipped open my garbage can. Um, okay, so let's open it. I'm going to spill some out gradually, and we'll... Go through it together. Oops. Okay. So I just spilled out some right there. Okay. All right, guys. Well, Christmas is coming. This is really cute. Um, this feels like a, almost like ceramic Santa Claus. And he, he's actually very sweet. Some people love Christmas stuff. I've never worn Christmas stuff, but now that I have it, I may have to. Um, okay, this is a leather bracelet with a charm of some sort on it. This is not um, a semi-precious stone by any means, but this is leather. And the button says something. The button says Joe I I don't know what that is. I don't know that brand, but I'll look it up, of course, because I always do. Because I'm really... I mean, super interested in all of this and who makes what um, and when they were made and all of that. Um, here's a necklace with silver and acrylic pendants. It's almost like an ivory, a faux ivory. With not, I think these knots were intentional. I don't know. I have to see what that's all about. Okay. I'm getting ready for the weekend. This was a long week. Would you believe I did two food shoppings this week? Um, because we go to Trader Joe's and also a regular supermarket. So I wound up doing both in the same week. This says high, low. I might give this to my mom because she plays high low poker or she used to anyway she's not playing these days um, here is a silver tone ring obviously not real because it's tarnished at the back and it's not a real silver tarnish on the front it looks really nice though things like this I usually give to friends and family versus selling just because it's damaged and I would wear it um, with the damages and some of my friends would as well, and my stepdaughter. Um, this is junk. This is Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras beads. Oh, here's another old package. This is marked four dollars, and it says Rose Surgical Steel Posts. So this is I don't know. I would say seventies or eighties, right? Besides the fact that this was a jar versus a bag, I did see something in the photos that I thought looked interesting, and it was like a, a turquoise, so I thought that would be cool. Here's a pair of earrings. These are sweet little flowers. I did not wear jewelry today because when I wear jewelry, I think it makes it difficult to showcase the jewelry. So those are pretty earrings, very pretty. And this is a bracelet. 
This reminds me of um, the jewelry designer I mentioned to you guys, Marla Aaron. She makes locks like this, but this is this is very costume. She works with um, sterling and gold. This says TF, like in Frank. Um, it's actually a very cute bracelet. It's got beads in it and that lock. You can see. It's very cute. The silver is nicely colored, not tarnished. I hope you guys are getting ready for a nice weekend. I am. Mark and I are going to spend some time together and maybe go to our, we have a little pool club that we go to, and we socially distance, um, but while the weather is still warm in, um, in San Diego, I feel like we should enjoy it because we are going to, number one, be on the East Coast soon, uh, and number two, it will get chilly here, even though it won't get chilly like it does from my home state, in my home state of New Jersey, it still will turn the weather here and kind of ending the day here I'm tired this week I think I'm still gonna cook dinner though for the family um, unless Mark feels like barbecuing which would be awesome All right lots of tangles here and a bunch of rings that I'll go through in a minute um, but the rings all got caught so this is just a plain chain in gold tone Gold is still nice. Good, another good layering piece. All right, so far, nothing major here. Oh, okay, see, I brought myself luck. Um, this is 120th 14K gold filled sleepers, it says. Um, pretty pearl button. Or post earring. I always say button. I don't mean button. So that's nice. This is a vintage piece. And this is not Mardi Gras-ish. This has nice weight and a nice shine to it. It almost looks like it could be like a Monet quality piece. Pretty. I have a pin that's this kind of red jet that I have on my... Um, Etsy page, and I think I've shown you guys. This is just a little gold bangle and a crystal heart pendant. That might be for the kids' lot. Okay, and here is a button, a clutch button. Now I know what they're called that says JC's. I don't know what that is. If you do, let me know. These are in almost every jar and they probably make everyone like me crazy because they're magnetic and everything sticks to them. This is good for the kids lot too um, because they can make bracelets and a necklace and wherever you put the magnets, they'll stick to it. So I'm going to give that to Hudson and Dakota. My little cute friends, what are they called this week? They're so adorable. They call like they're adults to say hi. Hi, Adrian. What are you doing? Okay, that's a nice silver tone necklace. I do not think it's real silver. It's got a nice color to it, but um, I don't believe that it's real, and it's not sticking to the magnet, but it's very cute. Here we have a, uh, this is kind of blah. It's a wrap bracelet, but it's wrapped with fabric, and the fabric is kind of dingy. So I might put that in a beadlock. And this is a, there's a necklace. Um, oh, there's two necklaces. Okay, this says wisdom with a key. And this is also silver tone. Both of them are silver tone. And this is, um, huh, I don't know what this is because this clasp must go to something. Oh, I know what this is. Hold on a minute. You basically clasp, I think, the pendant. So it goes like that. 
cute. All right, and then I have a bunch of um, little things here. This looks like a little reindeer pendant. Let's see if any of these are sterling. Oh, okay, nothing's sticking. Nothing is sticking. Okay, did I get a bunch of sterling rings? That would be nice. Let's see if any of these are marked. Nine two five. I'm gonna put them all on as I show them. Okay, nine two five. Those are butterflies with a little pink stone in the middle. Um, these are shells. Nine two five. These might all be silver. How fun is that? Little shells. These are also little flowers. Nine two five. So these are like stacking rings. And I think they're all going to be marked. Um, yep, yeah, they are all marked. Nine two five. So that's great. That's probably why this um, this bag was expensive because these are all sterling. I'm gonna put them all on too. Okay, this is, oh, this looks like a stone. This looks like a ruby or a garnet and it's got cherries on the other side of the stone. So someone must have like, these may be, um, uh, rings, what do they call these? Like half rings? Mid rings, midi rings. So that's, that's really cute. Oh, I have it on upside down. But that's um, cherries with a little stone. These are all silver, you guys. That's so neat. I don't think I need to check any more of them because they're all the same except for this one. So I'll show you. And they've all got um, these little stones, um, which I would imagine are semi-precious stones. So that's great. And then we've got this one. Let me check this one because this is different from the rest. And this one is... It says... S with a club on it. Huh. I don't think this one is silver, but it looks, it sure does look silver. I might not be seeing the marking. Um, this, and this has to be silver. So, wow. Okay, that's fun. Look at all those guys. Love it. Little flowers, butterflies, shells. Awesome. And this reindeer, I don't know if this reindeer is sterling, but I think it is. Cute little guy. All right. So let me take all of these off because it's not going to be easy to work like that. So that's great. And these um, mini rings are so popular. Some of these fit my pinky, um, but... The others, I think, are, um, they're super small. This one has to be sterling. I don't, I can't imagine that it's not just because of the way it looks. I'll have to look up what eight means with a, with a club. That's that one. Doesn't that look silver to you? I don't see the mark, though. Okay. Cool means. All right, let's fill, let's fill out a little bit more. Okay, um, we've got another another ring that's tarnishing a little bit. This one's better than the other one. And I do like the way it looks. So, I don't know, maybe I can clean that up. We'll see. And this is one of those Hawaiian nut shell bracelets. I have a necklace that matches this. Okay. That's not my style because I don't really wear, you know, kind of the boho chic kind of things, but a lot of people like that and 
that looks amazing on them. So I'll probably sell um, anything that comes out of these jars looking like boho chic. Um, this looks like it would be vintage. I don't see a lock here though, but this is um, some type of acrylic necklace. And it's got silver tone on the chain. Okay. A stretchy bracelet. So many of these, right? A bangle in rose gold. Gosh, I would love for one of these to be real. That's got some nice weight to it. I'm sure it's not, though. No, it's not. Definitely not. Okay, and we've got a silver chain, and it's got a message on it. Hold on, please. I will read it to you. It says, watch me and the we are absent another. Okay, so this must be, it says Genesis 49. This must be half of what somebody else has. So, um, and this is not sterling. So that's what that is. Okay, I wonder who has the other half. Um, this is a ring. Let's see if it's marked in any way. This says S like in Sam, P is in Peter. SP. Who is SP? All I can think of is Sarah Jessica Parker, but that wouldn't be SP. Okay, gold tone ring. Here's a cute little earring, flower, cloisonne flower. And we've got a necklace with in a Y formation here with pearls. They're fake pearls, but they're very pretty. Well done with this little tassel at the end. My best friend was just telling me she loves tassel necklaces. They are very cute. I sent her some. She is in um, Dubai and this one's broken. Um, but I did send her a little care package. This one's broken. There should have been a stone in there. That would have been cute, but it's not. In good shape. And this is on suede. This looks handmade in some way with some stones and some type of religious plaque. Okay, only a little more left. This was not a big jar at all. Um, although I really do like the silver rings. This was originally, I guess, $45. They marked it up to $50. Um, okay. Oh, no, I bid on it. That's why it was $50. Okay, cute gold tone earrings. And we have the pair. This is for the Boho Lot shell bracelet. And a couple of earrings here. Here's one. It's really big. Let's see if we have the pair to that. I thought there was turquoise in here. I could have been wrong. Here is a nice um, stretchy bracelet. It's got some um, stones and what does that say? Hold on. It's a little dark in here. No, this doesn't say anything. It's just a bead. So this has some beads and charms, some stars on it, a circle, stretchy bracelet. And another Hawaiian stretchy shell bracelet. We've got a pair of earrings. These are um, very good looking earrings, but they're very light. And they feel a little tinny. They look good, though. So sometimes something is light and it feels, I'll call it tinny for lack of a better word, but 
Um, but then it looks good. These look vintage. They're very light. They're not real. Faux pearl and black beads. Oh, these are heavy. I wonder what these are. Huh. I don't know what this is, but these beads are heavy and they're cold. I don't know if it's some kind of quartz, um, but it's missing the end. This is something though that I won't call it craft with, but I, I can probably put a pendant on the end of that and make that really nice. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh, this is the turquoise I saw. Wow, this is interesting. This might be the best thing in the whole piece because this is a scarab stone. Um, they call it scarab, it looks like a, like a beetle. It's very heavy. I doubt it's sterling, but that's really, really cool. Beautiful necklace. I have some bracelets like this, and all of the um, all of the links have a scarab in the center. So that's pretty awesome. And I've got a bunch of random earrings here. I don't know if we'll have the pairs. Hold on, give me a second. I'll put it together. Up oh, more, more of those silver rings. Okay, this is a beautiful chain. It has um, these hooks on the end the lobster clasps. I think people use this for um, reading glasses or, or other things, but it's, it is a nice chain. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it's nice. Okay, we've got a few more of these little rings. Let's see if these are silver. Um, I don't think this is marked. But this feels like sterling. It looks like sterling. An infinity sign. Symbol. Um, this will go in the kids' lot for them to play with. It's a little big, though, for the kids' lot. But, anyway. I think, yeah, this might go in the craft lot because it's not working. Um... I don't know what this is or what it was to. Almost done, guys. And this is a beautiful pendant. It looks like some kind of jade. Um, let me see if it's cold. It's hard to tell. But this is pretty. Um, let me look at it in the light. It looks like a stone. This might be... Um, this might be jade, in which case that's really pretty. I wonder if it was on. Uh, nah. Okay, let me see if I can figure something out for that piece because I, I do like it. Um, okay, and then let's look at the bits that we've got left here. So, there's one more necklace. And I don't see a maker's mark. And this is what that looks like. Okay. And then we're left with some stuff. So I never found the second one to this. So that'll go in the craft. Um, these are enamel. And they say... Huh, Rococo? Don't know that brand, but I will look it up. Those are pretty. And then we've got, oh, these are really cute. Um, I don't think these are real, but they're cute faux pearl with um, crystals or rhinestones. Those are pretty. And we've got a, um, a few flower earrings. These are real cute. Okay. Those are really pretty. Those look like vintage. Let's see what the backs look like. Yeah, I can't tell them that much from the backs, but those are really cute. All right, so I think the silver rings were really the best find here in the jade 
Um, oh, I love these, these little flowers. Those are pretty, very pretty. And we've got these, um, these are beautiful. Let's see, I think, um, I think these are, yeah, these are costume, but those are super pretty, really beautiful earrings. Love those. And a hoop, which I can always use, gold hoops, nice condition. And, oh, not magnetic. The only thing that's magnetic is the wire right here. Could they be gold? Would that be so fun? Oh my gosh, you guys. That'd be awesome. I don't think they look gold, but I love them. I love them. They look great. And then we've got all these like, oh my gosh, there's all these like Hello Kitty things. Hold on. What's this necklace? This is like a little, what is that? An arrowhead? Let me see what this says. Is this gonna be sterling? What do you think, guys? We're gonna end with some sterling? I can't read the tag. This is like so, so blackened. Let me see. Okay, this the hang tag is not. That just was attracted to the little jump ring, but not to this. I don't know what this is. I do not know, but this could be silver. Let me see what happens when I take my cloth to it, which has silver polish on it already. Let's see what it does. Yeah, this might be silver, because it's coming right off in the cloth. And usually when I polish the silver, that's that's how it starts getting clean. And I can tell by the way the, um, the tarnish comes off. All right, well, it feels really gross, but I'll work on that. Um, and then there's all these like little cartoon. I bet these are worth money because some of these look like kind of vintage. Um, who is this? Is that like Veronica from, what was that cartoon? And then we've got Hello Kitty. So we've got a few of these, they're teeny, teeny tiny. Um, and then we have this clip earring, which doesn't have a pair. And a few more of the Sterling midi rings and one hoop all right not bad guys i think it was a little expensive to be honest considering what um what was in there but my hope is because there was there was some sterling in there uh, that i'll be able to sell those rings and make a little bit of money or at least break even all right Hope you're getting ready to have an amazing weekend. Thanks for joining me and I will see you soon. Take care.